Hello, citizens of Gotham. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching Boom, the Political Vigilante. <laughs> Making Gotham great again. Um, this article was submitted by Patreon supporter Lauren D'Alessandro. Lauren's been with us from the early days as we come up on year two. January will be the second year we've been doing the show. It's awesome. We have over 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to the show. Even if you think you already have, they're unsubscribing people. Hit the bell for notifications. Um, YouTube is unsubscribing. And also let the ads play all the way through. Don't click skip ad. When you skip an ad, I don't get paid. So take solace in the fact that whatever crazy advertiser is giving me money when you let it play, even if it's some nonsense. Um, so this story is a, you know, this is an ongoing thing in America. Uh, you know, black man gets shot. And this happened in Chicago. A black security guard apprehends barroom shooter only to be killed by police responding to the scene. This was in the N NY Daily News. It's, you know, they covered it a bunch of, all over the place. Um, and this is just like, I, I, and, and I'm watching interviews with people who were there, they're like, the cop came on the scene and everyone was like, he's the security guard, he's the security guard. And the cop just, it, it, it's just, a black security guard was killed by police after springing to action when a gunman opened fire in a Chicagoland bar. After a group of drunken patrons were asked to leave Manny's Blue Room Bar in Robbins, Illinois around 4 a.m. Sunday, one of the men reportedly came back with a gun and started shooting according to WGN Channel 9. That's a local channel in Chicago. Guy comes back, crazy, starts shooting. The security guard stops him, prevents people from getting hurt, and he ends up dying. Armed security guard Jamel Robertson, 26, apprehended that man only to be killed by cops responding to gunfire. Bystanders say police shot the wrong guy. Robertson had someone on the ground with his knee in his back with his gun in his back like, don't move, according to Adam Harris, who was in the bar. And of course, the cops are like, well, you know, that's not what our guy saw. It's like, no, man. <sighs> Shoot first, ask questions later, I guess, huh? This is the thing that, that does drive me nuts in so many, so many interactions I've had with cops. You try to explain, officer, this is what's going, nope, stop, shut up, I got it, I'm right. They just fucking won't listen and they go into this cop robot mode. I got a goddamn jaywalking ticket from an asshole cop, an LAPD cop who just was like, no, uh, came, put his hand on his gun for jogging across the street. They won't, you, they won't listen to any reason. They're right. You're wrong. They got the gun. It's funny. I was on a train last night. I went to a basketball game in downtown LA. We're on the train. My buddy and I, cops get on the train. LAPD um, monitors the trains. And they came on. And I went through all these emotions of like, as a kid growing up, I used to think, oh, good, the cops are here. So if any, anyone's causing problems, there's cops here to handle it. Now I'm like, God, I don't know. These guys have guns. They could just do whatever they want on this train. Are they going to listen to reason? Are there good cops out there? Yeah, I'm friends with some of them. Some of them watch this show. But that overreaction, man, there's a problem in the way cops are being trained. Um, they're, they're just, there's some problem happening. There's something from the training to not treating the PTSD that most cops get from being on patrol. They're going to see violence and crazy shit out there and they're not dealing with it. Something's up. I mean, did this guy, was this guy wearing a security guard? Was he clearly labeled and marked as a security guard? I don't know. It's hard to get that report from his. I've seen conflicting reports. He didn't have a big jacket that said security on it. Okay. Let's say he didn't. All right, but everyone in the bar is like, he's got his knee on his back, got a guy down, and everyone's like, he's, I'm the security guard. I'm sure he was like, I'm the security guard. And the guy just... 
Clergy members at proposed church where Robinson played drums and keyboards reportedly said the slain security guard hoped to become a police officer someday. A lot of guys do that. They start as a security guard and then they go to the academy and they take the exams and all that. He was getting ready to train and do all that stuff so the very people he wanted to be family with took his life, according to the Reverend Patricia Hill. Once again, it's the continued narrative that we see shoot, we see of shoot first, ask questions later, he said. The Cook County Sheriff's Office said Robinson had a fire owner's identification card but did not have a concealed weapon permit. What the fuck does that mean? And what does that matter? Oh, he didn't have his permit, so that's why he should have got gunned. He was doing his job as a security guard. Some drunk asshole comes back wanting to shoot the bar up. He does his job, puts his life on the line, and then gets shot by the cops? There isn't just, this isn't just like a few bad apples cops out there. It's more than that. There is a problem in the way we're training our cops. There's a problem out there. There's just a problem. And we got to address it because this is horrifying. This shouldn't have happened to this guy. <sighs> and again, I got friends that are cops. I've had, I've had cops help me out in certain situations. I've had them be dicks too. So I'm not like railing against all cops, but there's something we need to address something, man. We need to do something about this. I'm going to try to get an interview with some cops on this show and really get their point of view and really ask them like, what's up? You know, not sandbag them in some crazy yelly interview, but like really at what, like what, what, come on, man. You know, I mean, there's got, there's got to be a lot of issues. Probably part of them is everyone's got a gun in America. <laughs> So if I'm a cop, I'm going to just be terrified and want to shoot everybody because I'm going to, and if I see a guy with a gun, I'm just, oh, well, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. I'm trying to understand this because I just have a hard time. I have a hard time reading story after story. And this happened 12 days after the shooting at the bar in Thousand Oaks, right 20 miles from where I live. There's a shooting at a bar in Thousand Oaks with an ex-Marine with a history of mental illness and abuse that wasn't getting treatment. And of course, he had a easy access to guns and he goes and shoots up a bar. And when I say on Twitter, we need gun control, it's someone I was like, well, you'll never get every gun out of everyone's hand. That's not what gun control, if you understand what those two gun and control means, I don't want to get every gun. I would like to get every gun off the streets, but I'm not unrealistic. But we need gun reform. We definitely need gun reform. And if you don't think we need any kind of gun reform, if you're a gun owner who's always just like, oh, that'll never work, blah, 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 you're fucking stupid and you overreact and go fuck yourself and take your gun and put it in your mouth and blow the fucking head off. All right? John Lennon's dead because of a gun owner. Go fuck yourself. Watch the show. Suck it.